Hey, what up everybody? It's the Twister here again. Today I thought I'd show you how to make a hardstyle intro thing. Yeah, you get it. Uh, with some kind of underwaterish playing effect. You can hear in some songs you go rock. You know that shit. So, uh, I'm figuring about if I should make a new one or use an one I have. Nah, I just make a new one. Okay, so look closely. So start off, you'll have your pattern one here, which is the pattern that like starts with. You open the nexus, just as so. Select the sound, no matter what sound, or actually a little bit, but. I'll actually use my standard little German trumpet here. Alright. Now we'll make a hard style melody. You can pause the video and do it if you want to. I'm just gonna make a quick one. Oops. Set a baseline. Let's just go with the last one. It was better. Come on. What do you want from me? <laughs> add that into pattern one. Alright. So let's put it on pattern and listen. <laughs> yeah, you can hear it's quite good. At least I think. So what you wanna do now is stay on that pattern. You right click Nexus and clone right here. And it will copy the uh, sound and effects and everything you have. So open pattern 2. And open this one. No, sorry, 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 sorry. You should open this one in pattern 1. That's right, that's right. You copy it from pattern 1. Open pattern 2. Into the other nexus you have here that you cloned. And paste it. So you have 1 here and two. 
one, two, one, two. So in the first one, wait, can I add one more and one? Oops, don't mind that. I'll show you later. So you open the first one you made, and let's put it on song. <laughs> Okay, now to make that w underwaterish effect, uh, you should play around a bit with the cutoff and resolution and all of these to make it sound like cool underwater. So I'll just mix it around or play around with these, and you'll see what I mean. I'm just gonna lower this. Okay, listen up. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. And what I always do is that it sounds cooler if these bass lines don't come like do 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 do, but more like do 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 so choppy. So I would like to move these forward a bit. We'll use none, and I will move them there. <laughs> a bit. See what I did there? Cool. So if I would like to li record this, which I'm gonna do with this, I just press the record button and it will record itself. But now I'm just gonna use this f like effect. to be also more choppy so I shorten this down to like that do, do, do. that's not gonna be like that that's wrong do, do, do. now we're into complicated stuff here If you didn't catch me what I did there, uh, I didn't do much. Uh, all of these, if you got confused, like, oh, what is he doing now? Um, it's nothing important. I was just, like, playing around. These I didn't do much. I was just boredomly moving them. So these are the ones that's important. Cutoff and resolution. And this cutoff down here could be useful. Because if I turn it off, you hear? Yeah, so that's cool. Let's keep it like that. As I said, never mind this. Now you go to the pattern 2 that you has. And what you'll do now is you open this nexus 
you'll add it the same add the same effects as you used let's see here as you used in uh, the last one were those different? yeah they were like that like this oh well, yeah I would like to change this that's true, that's true, that's true get short damn it should sound the same Thank you. 